Google Cloud Certificate of Completion. This is my favorite certificate yet. And I got this certificate with 100% score. Today, I am on the platform of Google Cloud Platform Business Professional Accreditation. This is the official e-learning platform of Google that is called Skillsoft where Google provides many resources, many certificate courses which are freely accessible. This is the first content of this course, GCP for Business Professional. Second is GCP Compute that is of six modules and one assessment. GCP Storage Databases containing seven modules and one assessment. And third is Big Data and Machine Learning that contains six modules and one assessment. And here is the optional resources from which you start Google Cloud Computing. And after that, one more thing that you need to learn that we have to complete all the resources, all modules and all assessments for getting our certificate. And also we have to score 80% or more in assessments. Now I'm going for the first assessment, assessment one, GCP compute. Here are some instructions for the assessment. You firstly read carefully and after that we go for the start assessment. And here I'm going to start. And this is the first question. Now some most important instructions from me that your questions may be shuffled. You doesn't get the questions in the sequence I am showing because I also observed that. So you have to take a screenshot of all the questions firstly. You doesn't start your assessments with this video because you may confused or it may consume more time. This assessment have 30 questions and we are on our fourth question. So stay tuned till the last.
this is the last question that is 30th question and we completed with 100% marks wait for the next assessment We completed GCP Compute Assessment and now we are on second GCP Storage and Databases. So I am going to start the assessment of this module and here is the assessment and this is the instructions for this assessment. Before solving the assessment, please read instructions carefully because there is mentioned that you need 80% and above for getting your certificate. And here is the first question. We solve all the questions as we solved in first video of this course and this is the second assessment and this contains total 35 questions in the previous one there are only 30 questions and the same instructions for this assessment that you take a screenshot of the all the answers of these questions because you may confuse or it consume more time so it is better to take a screenshot of all this questions and after that when you are solving refer to those screenshots and answers all correct one more thing friend i solved all the 35 questions but mistakenly one answer is wrong so you get 34 out of 35 means 97 percent so sorry for that now keep it on stay tuned
this is the last question of this assessment that is the question number 35 and here my score is 97% as I initially mentioned now I am going for third assessment we completed two of this assessment and now we are going for the third big data and machine learning this is the final assessment means the third assessment after this we get our certificate and here I am going to start and this is the first question as we complete assessment 1 and assessment 2 we do the same here there are 30 questions here and for getting certificate we need to answer correctly 24 questions so we have to take proper care of it that's why I advised you to take a screenshot of all the questions and answers which I answering here and after that you refer those screenshots for answering the assessment so this is the best way to attempt these assessments I repeat one more time that the questions are suffered be attentive while answering if you face any problem in this in this course or in this assessment then you use comment box for it let i know your advice and your problems in the comments as some of i have a problem with the link with the course link which is in the description they doesn't find the course so i also put it the second alternative link you go through it you get this course and one more thing that you use google chrome google or mozilla firefox when you are attempting this assessment these courses because these are google courses which are only valid when you use your google accounts for login or sign up this is not possible in other browsers so you use google chrome mozilla firefox or google there are 30 questions we are on 10th question so stay tuned Watch all the questions carefully and answer and get 100% score in this assessment because there is no mistake. So let's complete it with 100% score.
this is the last question of this course of this assessment and we answered it 100% correctly and we passed the assessment with 100% score now we go for other resources which are optional but we take a quick look on that because this is very very important thing which we learn here and after that there are some learning paths and also opportunity to get more certificates that's all for this video thanks for watching